Drop it. I'm OG Daddy V, I thought you knew I put it down, the sound of an underground pro And if you didn't know, open the door and I'm inside, check this out Without no doubt, in my rag, 64 Chevy and Pilot Cause where I'm from, it's all about that Yo, What's up y'all, the Slab OG TV back at again with another interview Today we got an OG up in here, you know, he gonna tell you his story You know, uh, the game from his perspective, you know, his ideas, you know some of the cars he didn't put together, I mean, legendary, legendary cars this man didn't put together. So without further ado, introduce yourself and tell us where you're from. My name is Calvin Reverend. I'm from Lake Charles, Louisiana. Fisherville, Sunlight Mountain, 1932, part of me, bro. Lake Charles. Already, already. And man, can you kind of just tell us like, you know, we know nowadays, you know, Lake Charles, Alexandria, you know, the slab is out there, but how did it get out there? Well, I tell you what, you know, back in the days, I think it just transitioned from Houston, but back in the days, boys used to boat up, right? I done seen cars boat up. I done even seen some candy. But, you know, a true, true, all the way put together slab, I think it all inspired from Houston, from, from you know, boys coming out here, seeing the culture, seeing what was happening, and, and then, you know, caught on to the game. The proximity of Lake Charles Houston is not that far, so, you know, people coming out here, seeing what's happening, and then just following the game. Okay, okay. I mean, who was kind of like the first person Two put the slabs together in Lake Charles, you know, from your perspective. Now, I'm gonna tell you like this. I done seen people boat it up. Uh, I, you know, there's a dude named Dedrick Milburn had a, 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 I think a 98 that was put together nice, candy red, white guts, bumper grill. Uh, and then I put together that slant that I had. As far as a true all the way done, that's the first two I can remember. Okay. But I've seen, you know, my homeboy Zane had a, a baby lack on, on three, uh, I ain't never rode number fours, like ever. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was putting my car together, the, the one on x Mall cover, um, I had the car put together and I had three fours. And I'm trying to find another one. And, I'm, and I got like six sets of, of threes. You know, and everybody, man, boat it up, boat it up. I'm like, no, nah, if I'm going to ride, I'm going to ride four. Because that's what I saw when I was in Houston, when I was seeing CNCB, seeing, you know, Condre, seeing these boys coming down, it was fours. My boy Top Dog, off, you know, off Belmark. That's how, that's how we were riding. It was folded. If you wanted to be the ultimate, you feel me? So, uh, you know, I held out until I found I found my last. I had three. I found my last one in Dallas. I bought two sets, and they had one folded. I was complete. At that point, I folded up. But, like, who necessarily brought it to where, like, it was like, hey, this is what we ride in Lake Charles. Fisherville, you know, uh, Gosport, uh, car shop to where it was like, this is what we like, you know, we don't like dunks, we don't like Dayton's, you know, who brought uh, that? Boys from, from Houston. It was, I, in my opinion, it was seeing dudes from Houston coming down there. Boys used to come down there, boat it up. You know, I done seen uh, was a dude come down there, had a green slant, uh, all the way done, complete. You know, I saw that one, uh, you know, and I think it just bled, bled from the city. It all, to me, the, all the slab originates from Houston. You know what I mean? And we just, you know, in proximity, closer to Houston, that culture fed over to Louisiana. And, I, you know, I really like the way the guys doing it even these days because they, you know, they're keeping the deal going here and there. Now it's going, you know, the whole South, you know, boys was riding. Okay, okay. And you said your first one was which one? My first one was the slant on x Marv cover. Now, I had a bunch of cars, you know, over the years that I played with, but I'm talking about when I decided to go ultimate all the way with it. I'm coming out here. I look over to my left at Surround by Sound. I see this candy red slant. I'm like, whoa. I told my boy, pull over. Let's go see what this is. I go over there, come to find out that was the blunt slant. Uh, I seen that, and I'm like, okay, I, I, I got to do this. That boy was nasty. I said, okay. I gotta put me one together. I went and bought me a slant that day. Found, went, went right around Houston, found me a slant, put it together. And I wasn't gonna come back red, so I came marble with it. That's when I went to Jack and I say, Jack, I, was, I used to fuck with Jack on the on the paint and then uh, Alfredo's on the interior. So I go to Jack and I'm like, Jack, I need, he say, I got something new. 
I ain't never done. I'm, I've been experimenting on it. He showed me like some ties he had done some all along. He like, it's called bowling ball. I say, show it to me. He showed it to me. I say, let's run it. We ran it. He put it together. Man, that ball was wet and just stupid. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so he put that together. I went bowling ball. He went butter. I went butter on the inside. Took it to Fredo's. But got it butter. Matter of fact, I'm coming down the bullo going from Jack to Fredo. And my boy Toast had the slant at the time. You know, and it was fun. You know, I'm coming down. I'm not all, I ain't got my wheels on. I just got sprayed. I'm going to get me interior done. That boy raised that trunk up on me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, I was like, okay. And he had a slant too. Yeah. I'm like, okay. You know, but I put my package together and, you know, there it was. Okay, okay. And, man, like, this kind of like a fast forward question. It seemed like marble back then, that was like the ultimate paint to go. Yeah. Why yeah. do you think boys don't really put marble on their cars no more? Well, in my opinion, I've seen some marble jobs, you know, even after the one I did. Now, when I did that one right there, it was one of the first ones that I had seen. Jack told me that, hey, I, I found this, this is what it is, and we, we put it together. And I saw cars after that, but I ain't never seen nobody that, you gotta have somebody that can really, really do that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if nobody really can put it together like Jack and Ike was doing. You know what I mean? And and that, that's just what I think it is. Yeah. But I've seen some. Yeah. Man, everybody that I, I got a whole bunch of homeboys from Lake Charles, uh, C, Jack, Big C, and they always tell me, man, that slant, that's like legendary. He like, they say Calvin Redman, like, ah, Corey Blunt. You I know, can feel Lake that, Charles. I can feel that. You know and to me, like like I tell you, in the, in the slab game, this is how I look at it. I put Blunt, Blunt to Michael Jordan of the game to me, right? So I say Blunt to Michael Jordan, then you can line everybody else up how you want to do it. When I come, I come correct, you know? So I'm gonna I'm come right, I'm gonna come correct because that's how the game was, was showed to me, you know what I mean? The dudes I was watching how they was moving, how they was doing it, they wasn't playing with it. And I ain't gonna play with it. I ain't gonna never play with it, and I never have. But, you know, that right there was the ultimate, that slab right there. As a matter of fact, I put the car together, I start riding it a little bit, I got it parked at my grandmother's house, some dudes ran into the garage and crushed the back of it up. Just hating, you dig? So, I called Jack, it was a Thursday, I remember. I called Jack, it's like 96. I called Jack, I say, Jack, I got something for you, bro, we gotta get done. I want, I say, somebody ran into my grandma on garage, crushed my shit up, we gotta, we gotta put it back together. He say, bring it to me right away. I jumped in it right there and there, that day, bought it to him. I said, I gotta be back on the slab this weekend. He said, I got something for you. We gonna do something else, we gonna really kill him. I take the car to Jack Thursday, he say, I'm gonna put some side pieces on it. That's when the side pieces first start coming. Cause mm -hmm. we used to, we used to can the car, but it wasn't, you know, they wasn't doing the side pieces. I had the 90 on it and the whole deal. He said, we're gonna do some side pieces. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking about? So I get down there, Jack showed me what he talking about. I said, okay, well paint them the same color as the car, which is what I was thinking. He like, okay, cool. I get, and then I'm running around Houston. You know, I go back to the bar, chilling. He called me. I think we ought to do them brown, like tan, like the seats. I'm like, okay, run it. So he put it together, and that's how the pieces wind up being tan on the side of that slant. It was marble. He fixed it all up. That next next weekend, I was back on the slab. But just you know, I just wanted to get back on there. Just man, you ain't finna stop nothing. Yeah. You feel me? So that's how that went. I can imagine you know being from a small town like Lake Charles and having a car like that. It was like damn near was the the king at the time, you know, in Lake Charles. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna tell you like this. It was definitely. Uh, a masterpiece, you know what I'm saying? And it was definitely well put together, but I put that car together to ride out here. So I know if I can hold, if I can hit the bull over, when I was hitting the bull over back then, you know, you had Condre in them, you had, you know, Blunt, you had Patton his, in his uh, link, you had, boys was out there, right? So you had to be right. And I knew if I can ride in, he was not gonna ride anywhere. Yeah. You know, if I if I can hold, if I can pull up to the bull over back then, and I'm on folds, you know what I'm saying? So. That, you know, that was the ultimate, you know what I mean? You had to be, to me, if you was gonna be the ultimate, you had to be on four. And I had, man, four, five, six, six threes at a time. But yeah. for me, that's that's what the OGs were riding, that's how I saw it, and that's how, that's how I put it down. Yeah. That's why I just stay original with it, I, I'm still original with it, and that's how I'm gonna stay. Okay, okay. Man, and how did you get on the X-Mob album cover? Cause that's, you know, so, that's a legendary, you know, cover. What it, year was that? Man, I'm gonna say that's probably like 95, 96. Okay, it's, in, okay. it's in the mid nineties. Okay. So you know, Bundy G, Slice, Breezy, E Vicious. I know all them. I'm from there. So uh, my homeboy Swallow hit me up. Hey, Bundy, them want to put the car on the cover. I said, okay, come get it. They came, got it. 
took it over there, wherever they took it. I don't know where they took it, took it, did they shoot or whatever. I'm down with it. Anything I can do to promote the, you know, the, the, the cause, I'm down with it. You know what I mean? Just like this right here. You know, if some young dudes just see how it really go and learn a little something from the game, I'm with that. Okay. And speaking on this car right here, uh, like you said before, you, you back then you really ain't just see too many of these. So what made you get into the stretches? Okay, so I had never seen opera cars. I don't know how I missed it, but I they, I guess these was out, they had to be out back then, it's an 80. So I had never seen them. So, um, you know, that's why I did that. If I'd have seen the stretch back then, I would have jumped on that, because that, to me, is, I mean, that's the ultimate, right? In my opinion. So, I, I, my homeboy told me about these right here. I had, like I said, I had that Excalibur on six that I was riding in LA. Um, and I sold the car, kept my swingers. I always kept my swingers. If I sell a car, I kept my swingers, my originals. So, my homeboy told me about this, this stretch. He sent me a picture of it. I'm like, damn. I thought I was gonna get out of the game, but I'm like, hell, I got, I, I want to get one of these. So I'm thinking, you know, I got the bread. I'm gonna just buy one. It ain't that easy. So I start looking, start looking. I don't think they made like 20 of these. Mm -hmm. So I start looking, looking, looking. Couldn't find the car. So I said, okay, I found a photo in Vegas. So I say, you know what? I can't find. I like the stretch. I really want that two-door convertible. I can't find one. I'm looking, looking. Man, I looked for a couple years. So I say, I bought the photo. So I bought the photo, shipped it from uh, Vegas to LA, got it running right, and then I shipped it out here and start, you know, putting it together. So I say probably I'm like six months in on this on this photo. Mm -hmm. I find this one here in Detroit. So I hit the old school dude up. I'm like, you know, tell me the ticket. He told me the ticket. I sent him the money the next day. Sent a truck, you know, like two or three days later. Shipped the car out here. Mm -hmm. Now I got two of them. So. I'm so far gone on the red one, on the other one, I just finished spraying it. Now I'm finna do the interior in the trunk. But I'm gonna go on and finish them both of them and see what I feel like after that. You know what I'm saying? Every time I talk to somebody that got a stretch, they always say, they after buying the stretch, they feel like they can't go backwards. They can't get an L dog. They can't go get a fleet I, I don't feel like I could do it. Cause this the ultimate. I, I, I'd have to agree with that. I'd uh -huh. agree with that. You know, and like I said, I'm thinking I'm gonna probably keep this one here. I might unload the photo but I'm gonna finish them both. This one here, I'm gonna spray it. I don't know what color I wanna spray it, if I wanna do it, you know. Everything I always spray was red, you know what I mean? Candy red is, is my deal. Um, but I'm thinking to go do something different with this. Maybe come back white, white with a blue pearl, or come cobalt blue or something else on it, you know what I'm saying? Cause it got a blue top. Mm -hmm. So I gotta decide how I'm gonna play that, and then I'm gonna spray this, I'm gonna finish the interior and everything on that, and I'll repay for everything. Mm -hmm. So. Might as well finish it now. Yeah. And then, you know, ride them. You know what I mean? I ain't never drove the other car because, like I said, when I bought it, I was in LA, shipped it to the out there, shipped it here. I ain't never drove it. Yeah. I just drove this car and I had it for two years, but, you know, I shipped it from Detroit to Houston and I was in LA. Mm. So I never, you know, I never drove the car. So I just started driving this one. And these are original wheels. Yeah, there's no originals. Yeah, that's all I'm going to ride. Okay. That's, that's all I'm going to ride. I respect everybody, however they want to get it, get it how you live. You know what I'm saying? But for me, like, I'm going to stay OG with it. Okay. Off the top. All the okay. way, no matter what. Okay, okay. And, man, you were saying that, you, you know, you was going to South Park in the 90s, you know. Yeah. What was that scene like to pull up, you know what I'm saying? Like, paint a picture for, like, I'm 27, so paint a picture for me just to explain what it was like to pull up on MLK well, in the 90s. Well, the scene, number one, was different. Like I like I like what a game at right now, and I think the new wheels is changing the game. Well, the tension level ain't ain't like it was back then. Back then, it wasn't just as easy to pull out like 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 it is right now. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, number one, boys was trying to jack. You know what I'm saying? So that you had that that going on. So you riding, you know, you might be three four slabs. You might have two hoodoos. You know what I'm saying? You know, on on the backup. Mm -hmm. So it, the game was more like that. But as far as as far as a car show, as far as you know, man, everybody, them boys wasn't playing, man. They had bourbons on blaze. They had you know uh, candy, everything, man. These boys was not playing. They showed you know, and that's where I learned the game from, man. You know, Condra and them had you know big big Fleetwoods with swivel seats. You know, they get out the car, the whole seat swivel. Man, yeah. it was it was it was it was crazy, bro. So if you pull up out there, you had to have your game on. You know what I'm saying? You you, you had to be right. You wasn't yeah. gonna pull out there playing. For, some, for somebody younger, you know, we always hear the stories about the jacking and, you it know, was, how it was serious bad, bro. it was. It was bad, bro. It was bad. It was bad like that. You know, I got homeboy, my boy Top Dog. 
we we riding, he stopped at a light, he, he got shot up, you know what I mean? But he survived, they didn't get away with the car. You know, a lot of a lot of cars got stolen, a lot of wheels got stolen, you know, it, it was bad, you know what I'm saying? Now on top of that, it was bad just with threes. But if you was on foes, that was a whole nother game, you know what I mean? Like when I bought my foes, I paid 10 racks for them. And that slant was on foes? And my slant was, everything I ever rode was on foes. Okay. I ain't never rode no threes, you okay. know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing against threes. I don't got nothing against Texas Wild Wheel, none of that shit. But for me, I always been on the original fault. Nigga, I wouldn't even drive my car. I had my slant done a year and a half trying to find one more fault. Uh -huh. I called, Mr. Davis called me one day. I don't know if you heard of Mr. Davis, he used yeah. to fix the wheel. So Mr. Davis called me one day and I bought all my, I used, you know, he used to fix all my wheels and whatever. So I, I, he called me one day, he said, he called me the Lake Charles man. I got, I got you a set of glass folk. Man, I, I'm in Lake Charles at the time. Man, I jump in my shit, I get the bread together, I'm headed this way, man, he done sold the wheels before I got here. Mm. And I'm ready, you know, that's just how fast they was going and boys was buying them, bro, you know what I mean? And I'm talking 10 bands. You was really paying 10, 10 bands 10 bands, man, I was ready to throw that band, them 10 bands at him. Yeah. And he sold them before I even got there. But like I can say, I was buying wheels from Dallas. And Dallas wasn't really riding swingers back then. I don't know if they doing it now, they wasn't riding back then. Mm. So. They were like, you know, I used to find them at, you know, little places and they'll, they'll sell them to me for nothing, dirt cheap. But they didn't know the difference in threes and fours. So they would just say, hey, I got some swings. I would always call and I would just go get them. I might get one, I'll get two sets, they got 184 in it. I'll get two or three more sets, get two swingers. So I had, I had one cut in the bumper for Jack. He already had it. I had three more, I needed one more. And I wasn't gonna vote up. And I, like I said, in my kitchen, I had probably six sets of threes mm -hmm. just sitting there. I'm walking by them every day, but I, I ain't gonna come like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if I was gonna hit that bullo, and if I was gonna come, I had to come, and I was gonna come on both uh -huh. back then. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it was. That's how I felt about it, you know? Yeah. But like I say, bro, uh, CB to me, it, it, it was, you know, not just because, because you know, in Houston, ain't nothing new under the sun, bro. People do cars, you're gonna see these, you're gonna see anything, you, you know, you wanna see it. The boys don't play out here, they coming with it. But to me, it's more than just that. He did it with a certain level of, class and you know the way he did it and on top of that he was a trendsetter on how to do it the right way you know what i'm saying so that meant a lot to me like i said when i saw his that inspired me right then that day i went about me a slant that day and that you know that inspired me so you know i'm sure it inspired other people and, you know he a houston legend you know for the slab i mean we all know cb yep. so uh you know i respected that okay okay man What's your thoughts, you know, kind of how like people are more so putting slabs together nowadays? Cause you know, you know, you had the slants, you know what I'm saying? The stretches, you know what I'm saying? The the real essence of the slab. For so, me, it's old school. Old school. If you, if you come in, you know, if I go by 2024, whatever, Cadillac, Lincoln, this, that, whatever, and put that on swingers, in my opinion, that's a nice car. That ain't no slab. And you getting it out the mud if you're gonna put a slab together. I'm gonna be, I've been messing with these cars for years. You know what I'm saying? To get to where I'm at now, I'm finna spray this hill. That's that's putting a slab together. But if I go get, you know, I mean, I work, I'm in the car game, I'm in the car business. So if I go grab me something off the showroom floor and put some swingers on and a bump on it, I, that ain't no slab to me. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice car. And that and there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? So, but to me, on slab, you gotta get it out the mud. You gotta take something out the graveyard or whatever and, and, and put it on the showroom. You know, and that's what and that's what boys was doing back then. They was, you know, these ideas about these side pieces and these bubble eyes and you know all this stuff here. That's 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 taking something old and resurrecting it. Like if you seen my my my, my photo, the red one, when I first got it, if you saw it, you'd be like, man, I, you know, when I got it, my wife was like, bro, don't even mess with it. No, no. you don't see the vision. You don't see what we're going with this. No. Guess what? She, her mind changed right now. My boy C Jack. From Lake Charles, he wanted me to ask you. He say, "Uh, why you ain't why you ain't put a put the photo on eight yet?" I'm I'm now this. I'm thinking I'm on eight here. I'm leaving. I'm leaving that one on seven because I think at least for right now because I think that 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 bumper on the trunk. You know what I'm saying? With the way that thing sit, I think it, I think that's where it need to be. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna do it, but right now that's not in my plans. I plan on just staying on seven because I just think the way it look. With that, with, with the seven on it, it's real player. So I'ma just, I'ma just let that ride like that for right now. Okay. But, but I know, but Jack, yeah, he always tells me, go on, put that, do it like this one. Yeah. You know, put the other one on. I put this one like this because this car came with a bumper kit. 
you know what I'm saying? I put the trunk on the, on the trunk, but it came with a bumper. So, you know, uh, so I said, you know, I'm as well gonna run it. It's already up, mm -hmm. and you know what I mean. But on that one, I think I'm gonna stay on, on seven. That's my plan. So on the photo, you pretty much finished with that one. Uh, interior and, and pop trunk music. That's it. Okay. Now, on this one right here, what you plan on doing? We gonna walk around it in a second, but what you plan on doing to this one if you want to say? I'm, I'm, I'm. Only thing left to do is spread. I'm pop trunk. I'm in some guts. You know. Uh, test the screen, everything done, except the paint. The thing is, I don't know what to paint, what color to paint it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, a lot of people trying to tell me to leave it white. You know, I don't know about that, but it looked clean, you know what I mean? But, you know, it, it's gonna get resprayed. I'm, I'm thinking maybe cobalt blue, but I, I gotta figure out what color to paint it. Mm -hmm. but, okay. but it's gonna get sprayed, for sure. Okay. That's all I'm waiting on. On my uh, last question, I like to ask, man. You know, you've been in the game for a long time. What's your top five greatest slabs of all time that you didn't see? Oh man. Alright, I'ma say I'ma I'm gonna go with that slant blunt head. Uh I'ma go, I'ma put my my slant in the game somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it gotta be one, you know, two, whatever, but it's, it's in the game. The boy, that one that wasn't playing, wasn't, mm -hmm. wasn't nothing to play with. Uh Condre, uh that 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 fleet he had was was a monster. Yeah. Uh, I like that. Uh, that 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 Lincoln pad has. Uh, that's all I can think of right this summer, man. There's so many slabs, bro. There's so many. There's so many people that put it down, bro. Like you know, just ride around the city, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I really respect the way the youngsters, your generation, is keeping the game going. Y'all boys still holding. Y'all still coming down, wrecking. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's inspiring to me. I don't really get out that much with it. You know, I pull out every now and then, but when I do and I see y'all, I'm like, what the boy, you know, this ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? And you gotta think, I was doing this in the nine in 95, 94, 95, you know what I'm saying? And y'all still got it going, so you know, I, I, I respect it. I like that. I, I like what y'all doing, I like what your generation doing. The boys is, is they coming. Yeah. You and know? by this being slab OG's TV, what's your definition of a slab OG? Man, me. Yeah. My definition of a slab OG is I'm staying true to the game. Obviously, I'm original swingers, and I'm gonna stay original. I'm gonna be side pieces. I'm gonna be, you know, Euro, and just stand OG to the game. You know what I'm saying? That you know, everybody doing what they doing. I ain't gonna run with no trees. I'm gonna stay with what I'm doing. So you know, I'm gonna stay OG. And that's that's how I feel about it. Okay. And right before we get up out of here, I want you to kind of walk everybody around, just kind of you know, tell them the details and everything. You know, uh, what you got else to work on, you know, things of that nature. Yeah, so this here, uh, this is the opera. Uh, the only thing, like I said, I got to do left on it is spray. So you can go around it, man, everything else is there. I'm just gonna do the body work, you know, a little body work. I'm combing all this here. I'm gonna take all, once, this kind of the dress rehearsal. So I'm gonna bust the whole car back down, chrome all the, all the molding and all the stuff, and, and, and then just redo, uh, repaint it. You know, do the body work and paint it. And what year is it? This is 80. When, let me ask you this, when was your first time seeing one? My first time I saw an opera, I was in LA, my homeboy sent me a picture of one that I was gonna get out the game. I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna throw my swingers in the garage somewhere and I'm gonna chill. When he sent me a picture of, the, of, of this, the one like this, I was like, oh hell no, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta do that. So then I started hunting for this one here and I found the photo first and I'm gonna finish it. And then I found this one and I'm gonna do them both. Ready, man. This thing is immaculate. I damn that wouldn't even change nothing. Yeah, I'm at the, I'm at the open for you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man, before we get up out of here, you got anything else you want to say? Any shout outs? Hey, bro. Hey, shout out to Lake Charles, Louisiana. Shout out to my boys putting it down, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing. All the guys out here riding slab, holding it down, representing the south, representing the city, man. Keep doing what y'all doing, man. 100. Already, slab OGs TV. We out.